Mrs. Twit goes ballooning down. Mrs. Twit may have been ugly and she may have been beastly, but she was not stupid. High up there in the sky, she had a bright idea. If I can get rid of some of these balloons, she said to herself, I will stop going up and start to come down. She began biting through the strings that held the balloons to her wrists and arms and neck and hair. Each time she bit through a string and let the balloon float away, the upward pull got less and her rate of climb slowed down. When she had bitted through 20 strings, she stopped going up altogether. She stayed still in the air. She bit through one more string. Very, very slowly, she began to float downward. It was a calm day. There was no wind at all. And because of this, Mrs. Twit had gone absolutely straight up. She now began to come absolutely straight down. As she floated gently down, Mrs. Twit's petticoat billowed out like a parachute, showing her long knickers. It was a grand sight on a glorious day, and thousands of birds came flying in from miles around to stare at this extraordinarily, extraordinary old woman in, in the sky. Mr. Twit gets a horrid shock. Mr. Twit, who thought he had seen his ugly wife for the last time, was sitting in the garden celebrating with a mug of bear. Silently, Mrs. Twit came floating down. When she was about to hide the house above Mr. Twit, she suddenly called out at the top of her voice, Here I come, you grizzly old grunion, you rotten old turnip, you filthy old frumpet. Mr. Twit jumped as though he'd been stung by a giant wasp. He dropped his beard. He looked up. He, he gaped, he gasped, he gurgled. A few choking sounds came out of his mouth. Ah, he said, arm, ouch. I'll get you for this, shouted Mrs. Twit. She was floating down right on top of him. She was purple with rage and slashing the air with her long walking stick, which she had somehow managed to hang on to all the time. I'll swish you to a swizzle, she shouted. I'll swash you to a swizzle. I'll gnash you to a nozzle. I'll gnash you to a nozzle. And before Mr. Twit had time to run away, the bundle of balloons and petticoats in fiery fury landed right on top of him, lashing out with a stick and, and crack, cracking him all over his body.